we need something to you from uh, Galaxy and Renault, who is part of our group. And I'd like for people to please listen and be respectful of each other. What hurts me the most is what's going on here, is that people are pitting people against each other. And we're, we're all this community. We're all part of this. I don't believe that anybody should lose a root relationship that we have had over any one decision. I care about all of you as much as I did yesterday. I nursed most of your families. I cared about you all the same a year ago, and I will care about you all the same tomorrow. We can still disagree. It's okay if we disagree. But let's be civil, let's try and talk to each other, and let's not just put people down. Anyway. So Valley writes, good evening. I am very sad I couldn't make it to this evening's meeting. I have been a full supporter of this project since before Nova Scotia. It was even thought of in Nova Scotia. A few years ago, at Ocean's Day in Halifax, I took a printout about a whale without walls. I was hooked. What an idea. A sanctuary for marine mammals. My dream has always been to have a rehabilitation center for marine animals. I don't know how much closer you could get. I grew up in Murphy's Cove. I would frequent the campground, which once upon a time had a small lobster pound. Here, the seals would come in and it, I was even lucky a few times to see dolphins. It was there along the shores at eight years old that I knew one day I would be a marine biologist. Now I am one and I love it. I would love to have the opportunity to move home and work with the sanctuary. Unfortunately for me, there is no financial stability for work if I move. The Whale Sanctuary Project is full of educated people from many areas of expertise and I know they would never put the whales somewhere where they would not thrive, survive, or be able to manage and keep pristine. I trust the judgment of the board, and I am excited and thrilled to know a place we chose for them to look closer has been the best sight they have seen. I hope we can all call this wonderful place home for the whales. I know you all don't understand or don't appreciate what she's saying, but please, let's all still be a community. I'm from Usher Boom. I'm from I fish in the area, one of, one of two fishermen that fish mostly in that area. And I, my personal opinion, anybody, but I, I kind of in favor of the sanctuary, but there's questions to be answered, like that lease there, that you know, that lease on the agriculture and stuff like that. I'd like to have more information about that. But other than that, that I, I might have a bunch of enemies after this, but, <laughs> but I find you can't always say no. <laughs> since I moved here. No MPA, no whale sanctuary. How many of you have a cell phone? Does everybody have a cell phone? Yeah. Oh my God, so you're up for change? Okay, so most of us are not going to be around here for 20, 25 years more, right? But the kids are. And if we want to keep our community alive, we have to start thinking about the kids, not us, the kids.
this? Oh, most of the garbage, I'm sorry, is from the locals. Okay, so the last hurricane that went through my property, I found light bulbs, I found fishing shit all over the place. So I have nothing against the fishing people. I have nothing against fishing people. But I'm going to go get it. Why bring all my goddamn garbage to throw a light on fishing? Okay. Well, so don't you blame the fishermen? Why not? What is the fishermen? I'm blaming you and the young guys. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. We have to start saying yes to some of these changes. Otherwise, nobody's going to be here. She's heard much of everything. Hey, 